we were ready when the West Indies come. I, I don't think the West Indies realised when the, obviously the surfaces that they, they produced that England had a fast bowling unit that were going to take on the world. Because if we remember that first game in Sabina Park, that was the first time Hoggard, Harmson, Jones and Flintoff, Giles, had bowled together. It was the first time we played together. So I think we caught the West Indies colours. I think, I, I think in... In Jamaica, leading into it, we believed we could win, but there was always that we haven't won since the 60s. And even now, I think when you want, is that the winning one once? So that's the only time they've won since the 60s. So, and when people say, oh, it was a weak, it wasn't the strongest West Indies side. That was West Indies batting unit was a decent batting unit. You know, Smith, uh, uh, Devin Smith got 100 in that first test match, but it was Gale, Chandapur, Sarwan, Lara. Uh, this was a, you know, Ridley Jacobs was a tough customer. This was a good side. Best and Edwards were quick, really, really you know, lively and pierce. So it wasn't a bad West Indies side. But we believed we were probably at the right time of our careers to uh, make, make a mark. Going into that Sunday morning, it was a kid, you know, you, you never, you know, obviously you never feel as old. You know, something special like that's going to happen. Um, but a lot went my way. You know, Gail get caught off Thorpe. We were just about to take Thorpe out from third slip because we felt the ball still bouncing. Third man might be better than, than Thorpe at third slip. We got um, Gail out and then you know, I was coming off. I was coming off probably about six, six overs in and Vonnie said one more. And then we got a wicket and then from that wicket, it just kept they just kept going and going. But if you remember right, Chandapur gets bowled off his legs. Sarwan, and yeah, Daryl Harper. I think Daryl Harper was the umpire, and Sarwan was we appealed for LBW and bat pad at the same time. NASA caught one at bat pad of Sarwan. It jammed, and it Daryl was going well. It's close to bowl, so I'll give it out, and he give it out. So we got a lot of luck going our way. But it was a it was a great day. It was a great set the tone for what the rest of the test series was was going to be about. You know, from that from that moment, that forty seven all out on the Sunday morning, um, the West Indies were were literally shell shocked. Sorry, Sarwan got out over after Chandapur's played one at the bottom. His foot's rolled back onto the stumps. When Chandapur gets out like that, I'm thinking this is my day, and then. Buggy gets, I mean, Simon got Ryan Hines out and then, you know, the last, the last four wickets, I literally for about five overs, I could have get, I felt as I could have gotten a wicket any ball, at any ball bowling. It was one of them spells I'm running up, I have my eyes closed and I'm, I'm landing it and they could have, they could have nicked it at every, at, at any point. And great times, great times. Um, and one that I think set the ball rolling for England and the West Indies going, Unbeaten at home, first time in uh, after apartheid to win in in South Africa, and culminating in and win in 2005 in the Ashes, and it's amazing that.